All right. Today we're going to take a look at taking apart a Samsung Notebook NP940X5N. Customer dropped it off because he thinks the DC jack is bad. Um, he wants to replace the, the laptop battery and get all the Windows updates done on it. So I guess we're going to get this guy apart. It's actually been the first time I'm going to work on this. Use... I'm going to take out my fix-it kit and my electric screwdriver. Let's see here. First thing I want to check to see before we start taking it apart is if there's screws under this feet, which there are not. Those are solid on there. All right. So it looks like we're going to have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10 screws. As usual, we start in the back. These are the little guys. You know, make sure you keep an eye on them. At this point, I'm just looking at the screws. They all look to be the same size. And... I need to update what my service is, I just realized. Now with this, there's a couple things this could be. This could be a problem with the DC jack. Or this could be a problem with the motherboard. I'm gonna find out. We got our multimeter ready to go. Take a look and we will find out. All right, same as last time. Uh, if, it's a, if it's a soldered one, that's fine too. I've replaced thousands of soldered DC jacks at this point. Yeah, no, I've, I've done hunt, lots and lots of those. Okay. Appreciate it. This one has a slot for taking this back cover off. It's a very small slot. Right by the hinge, you can actually see. Let me see. I don't think I can get a... I don't think I can get a camera shot down in there. So, yeah, right there. Yeah, perfectly lined up. There's a little slot right below the hinge to just to actually get this bottom off. Yeah, and the problem with that Lenovo is it wasn't a DC jack I was replacing on that Lenovo. It was a USB slee. USB C. Alright, and there we go. Yeah, it definitely needs a new battery. One of the cells is expanded. Alright, DC Jack. Tiny little boy over there. Yeah, Alright, so we got this apart. Let's take a look at it. We got our battery here. I have no idea. Oh, this is a it's a pen. Okay. It's a pen holder. We got our, our NVMe and we got our battery. So as with everything. Okay. Before you start working on anything, you gotta make sure you pull your battery. Really? This is Chris, how can I help you? I'm gonna be out of the office most of the day. I have like I'm just I have to go help businesses set back up today. I would not be no, I'd be available tomorrow. So All right, so once you have your battery disconnected, 
we'll actually set this get this model number off here because this is an AA PBTN4LR. We can get that ordered. And then let's get this metal plate off of here and take a look at this DC jack. Visual inspection, it generally looks fine. Let's check some voltages. Yes, imagine, imagine having that issue. So this is definitely not the power cord that came with this laptop, but it looks like it's the right one, whatever a PWR is. This is definitely charging. We actually have a charge light. Oh yeah, this DC jack is fine. It's just delicate. I see nothing wrong. It's whatever the problem they're having is probably this battery. So let's see how much a battery for this guy costs. All right, we got that battery ordered. Let's get this thing put back together and then we're gonna build a gaming computer. Yeah, this thing still looks to be in pretty good shape. Again, we just put these three screws back in, which are like a, it's just a reinforcement brace over all these plugs so that when you're plugging stuff into it, you're not snapping them off. And you have to make sure you don't do what I just did. There is a, there's a little like lip that this needs to go under and it just needs to go like that. Make sure you're going under that lip. All the screws go back in. And we're just gonna go clockwise. So this is part two of this video. Um, so we'll have to cut these guys together, I'm guessing. Or maybe release it uh, as two different parts. So this is the actual installation of the battery. Hopefully they shipped me the right one. Now that you're back, I need to do your redemptions. And I'm going to remember, which was a little bit interesting this time, just take that out first. And then grab this edge back here. Just a nice little. This is the Samsung NP940X5N. All right, yeah. So this was this was the one the battery definitely was bad on. This is the replacement they sent me, and I think we are going to be okay. Now we're going to take this battery out. What's going on, King? It's been a minute. I'm going to use one of my precision screwdrivers here. Not that one. Hope everything's going all right with you. 
one. Two. Yeah, these are these are my precision screwdrivers. Oh, is it bad? Yeah, I have I have many of these. By many, I, I mean four. Yeah. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Oops. Need to update this. Two. Get that out of there. You can see, we've got a nice little pillow here. Whereas the new one, nice and flat. Let's get this installed and hope that these uh, hope this battery just works. And then I need to check. There's a Windows update that's stuck on this. I want to see if I can get it fixed. I'm going to try, completely delete it and then try and get it reinstalled. I think it's time to, uh, time to put a charge on this thing. I think my screwdriver is starting to be a little bit low on battery. All right, we're going to use plastic. Always use plastic tools with this stuff. Never use metal on battery connectors. So we're going to line it up. And then just going to go straight down. And now... We will see if she turns on. We got ourselves a blue light. There we go. Perfect. Now, let's go ahead and get this turned off. This is a really nice really nice samsung laptop it's, a, it's an eighth gen i7 with a radeon video card an actual radeon video card now let's see if this thing is actually going to charge we'll grab our power cord So this is pulling, wow, it's pulling 50 watts to charge this thing. I didn't think this was that high of a charger. It says max 45. So that's interesting. This says it's a max 45, but I'm actually pulling 53. 115 volts. 0.755 amps. Yeah, 53 watts. That's crazy. Yeah, for 10 bucks, this thing will do what I need it to do. It doesn't have, like, super detailed information, but it's got something. take a look at Windows, see if we can't figure out what's going on with, with Windows. I don't think it tells me the, the current. Oh, you're talking about the straight up amps. I always forget that those are like those terms are somewhat interchangeable. But it is, the draw on it is like greater than I expected it to be. Granted, it's not like an actual Samsung one. It's a, it's like a knockoff one. Uh, 
It's stupid how much I've forgotten about working on electronics. I went to school partially for this stuff. Yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> all right, I just put that all in there. Hey, thanks for watching that video. Uh, you can check out some of the other videos for more tech related content. And if you want to catch me live, I am on Twitch at twitch.tv slash specvengeance Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so come hang out, chat, and maybe learn a thing or two.